I had a bride come into the studio and she explained to me she was getting married and she was doing a sand ceremony at her wedding. I'd never heard of a sand ceremony, so she told me about it and her request was to have a vase made that the couple would pour the sand into. And I thought about it from like a, even a practical standpoint, a technical standpoint, a functionality standpoint of how can I keep the sand pretty and beautiful forever. And I really couldn't come up with a way to engineer the vessel that it would protect the sand forever. So Nikki came back uh, and uh, she liked the drawings, but I'm like, there's no way you can get the, the glass or the sand home from the church you know, without it disrupting and starting to and not really look as pretty. So we kind of thought about it and I started looking around and some about the raw materials I use in my glass corner are the crushed glass crystals, the, the thread. And they're inherently beautiful. So we decided that she would pick out a couple of colors of those. Instead of sand, she would pour the glass together, the crushed colored glass at her wedding. Then afterwards, we'd make something from those glass crystals uh, at the studio, really incorporated into the glass. More of a piece of art and timeless. So it's a funny story how we met. We, I was actually on a girl's trip in Vegas and he was on a boy's trip. Um, he's in the military and they were on their kind of last hurrah for, before they went out to sea. And we were just on a fun girls weekend and we happened to be staying at the same hotel and we met at 10.30 in the morning. One of the guys walked up to us and had a funny little pickup line like, hello ladies, can you take our picture? And you know, we're like, oh, that's kind of cheesy. And so just one thing led to another. And of course I had my eye on Buddy the whole time and he didn't know it. My friends were laughing. He was the tall, dark, and handsome one of the group. And I'm like, okay, well he's mine. <laughs> so I kind of went after him more than he went after me. The rest is history. We started talking and um, one thing led to another. He went out to sea two weeks later and kept in touch the entire time. He came home six months later. I went out to see him, I welcomed him home, and we continued our relationship while I was still here in Lubbock, and he was in San Diego, just two days before our two-year anniversary when he proposed. We were in California at a winery. Our colors for the wedding were pink and white primarily, but his favorite color is orange, which is sentimental to him because he's from Cincinnati. And of course, my favorite color is pink, so that was my color. And we added in our moms, we added two colors for them, which my mom's was yellow and his mom's was purple, which is two of their favorite colors. And then we also added in white for the preacher that married us. So it just felt like it was a piece of all of us, you know, uniting as one family. And it was very sentimental. And right when we got it back, we were so excited. It's on our nightstand right by our bed. Um, so it's just very special piece that you know shows us why we are married and the love that we have together. <laughs>